So I just got a package uh, in the post. So we're gonna be doing a quick unboxing just to keep you guys interested. Um, it's pretty exciting. I've been waiting for this for a long time. So I ordered this. Uh, I will actually I purchased this second hand on my armory. Which is a great site, which I've frequented for years. Yeah, there's Mr. Mr. Swordman sculpture, and Mr. Swordman sculpture is going to help me open up this package. <laughs> and this is what we have: a package from Amazon. Ooh, I wonder what it could be. All right, took a second to get set up there. So what have we got? Well, we got a package. I wonder what it could be. So what have we got? Gee whiz, there's a lot of stuff on here. $60 postage and handling. $60! Yeah, what's this? This is from Australia Post. That's America. Another American one, a barcode. It went through Melbourne. They've blacked that out. They've blacked that out. I should probably black some of this out so people can't stalk me. Whatever. Very subtle and delicate opening implement. Duh! Oh, super practical. Oh, literally. Best idea I've had. <laughs> Half sword this. Here we go. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. Fucking open. Oh yes, there we go. Maybe I should more slag it open. What do you th Nothing. But why did I think this was a good idea? Why did I think using a bastard sword was a fucking See, unlike Casey, what is it, Casey Nice stuff, I can't just rip packages apart with my bare hands. I don't have the, I don't have the forearm strength of carrying a camera to take selfies with that weighs about five kilograms. Got a lot of foam. We got, uh, we got some nice white bubble wrap, which is green, green bubble wrap. What is this? A French? and Italian on it. Rouleau de papier, protecteur et boules. Rodillo con amortization de burbages. Rubbish! Speak English or get out! Uh, we got a nice little... We got a nice little... Little sandwich bag. There you go. French? 20% creme de cassis. Mm. Or cassis. So this is 20% cassis cream. It's always important to wear protection. I wonder how dumb I could be. Don't do this at home, kids. All right, this is this is critical for protection. Absolutely essential. Yep. All right, so I've got my protection on. All right, I'm actually suffocating. All right. <coughs> yeah, we got a free block of wood. That's sweet. Okay, we can put this aside. So the whole thing was just for this amazing block of wood. Look at that. That's that's great. So there's a nice little scabbard. That's weird. That, that is definitely not pine, but it's really light as well, so that's strange. Some beautiful detailing on the leather. This is a this is a custom scabbard by the way. Also that's actually quite nice. You've got the uh, sort of German flaps. You know, you've got the German flaps or whatever they are where you have um, rain guard so you know when you're sort of busy putting your sword kind of like in and out it's okay Ooh. oh oh it's just like just like japanese porn oh what what oh, i'm gonna take this out and we can get a closer look at it in a second all right, unpacked it, so now let's check it out. It's just going to be a cursory. This isn't really going to be a review or a close analysis. This is just going to be a quick look-see. So here it is in its scabbard. It obviously uh, is a very German, perhaps a predecessor to the um, Schiavona, possibly. Uh, definitely, it is obviously German. All right, so that's definitely what it is. Uh, it's made by Darkwood Armory, so... Uh, I'll put the details. I'll do another video later on. Um, so I think that's what it is. It's dark arm, dark wood armory custom sword. So standard pommel, standard grip, but with a bit of wire on it. You got your nut, okay. 
except the scabbard is entirely handmade. All right, from tip to tail, totally handmade. Okay, so it's a nice, nice protective scabbard. Has a nice little flower or rose, perhaps. In it. All right. Uh, no, no chap at the end or shape. Uh, but that's easy enough to purchase an off-market one and stick it on the end of that. Um, scabbard's otherwise good. No rattle. Oh. Yeah, it's not, not very firm, but... You know, Blade-wise, of course, we have classic dark wood. I think this is a broadsword? I think this is the broad version of it. Uh, it has a full it's, on... Up, I George Silver it up. It's there. It's at, it's at about my wrist bone, which is... I find more comfortable than any longer. Got some bearing on one side, so I just flipped it around, and now we have a nice, smooth blade on this side. It tapers uh, both in width, and it also tapers in thickness, if we will. So it's thicker at the base, thinner at the top, thicker at the base. Standard semi circle dark wood armory pommel, standard uh, nut. Um, I think, well actually, I took it off earlier uh, and it's actually been modified, so the nut, uh, the fixator or whatever it is, has actually been cut. Not even completely flush, it's just been cut, so that's something I can fix later. Otherwise, standard semicircle hollow pommel, blued, very nice. Leather grip, leather, red leather grip, uh, with a bit of a leather, there we go, I'll flip it this way, with a sort of leather bind here and some wire wrap. Uh, not blown away by it. I'm not blown away by it, but You know all the same. It's not too bad feels quite good in the hand Obviously, it's much more comfortable because I have small hands more comfortable towards the base than it is towards the tip um, but That's okay. That's easy enough to modify um, Although of course if I modify it Then uh, you know this sort of placement here doesn't quite work there out is one Thing I noticed that I didn't recognize before I bought it, okay, that maybe you can see right now. Can you see what the problem is? This is a left handed weapon and I'm right handed. But functionally, besides the issue with the guard here, being that, of course, being that I can get hit in the finger quite easily here, and in fact, it actually acts as a channel. All right, it's got this wedge here. If I keep my finger here, when a blade might otherwise not get in it, if it hits it, it'll just get driven right down. And I've read somewhere that some people argue that these sort of designs, eye shapes, and not anything else that you might be thinking of, um, actually stop it sliding down. When you get struck, it sort of catches it a little bit. So I'll probably use it as a side sword, or as a very short rapier or stuff like that. So I'm just going to take my jumper off because it's hot. Functionally it's basket hilt. So it's a left handed basket hilt, but it's a basket hilt. So do I really need to change it? And if I do use it, like I'm, you know, for, for side sword, uh, for, for a very short sort of rapier stuff, you know, does it really matter? Does it really matter? I could convert it to a massive left hand dagger. You know, if it if the blade happened to break, there is nothing stopping me from just using this as an enormous left handed dagger, you know, with a super big complex hilt. And I guess at the upshot is that if I do fight someone who's left handed, or I'm teaching someone who's left handed, this is a great option. This provides them a chance to say, okay, everything isn't right-hand centric. There are some custom pieces that are left-handed, okay? And so now, they can, you know, they can feel confident to know that no longer do they have to suffer from the inverse problem of having their fingers continually hacked at. Instead, it's like, yes, I'm safe. Finally, and all of a sudden, boom. I'll put the specs up, measurements, length, weight, etc. Uh, point of balance I can actually probably do right now, but I'll do the rest in a later video. Where's the point of balance? 
about there. So about a hand width, and a hand width from the blade, you know. So right where the ring sort of terminate. I don't know why, but for some reason, it feels like it wants to cut. If I hold it straight, so holding it, you know, that feels good. Keeping it straight, sort of in line, you know, if we were sort of doing a kind of, you know, sort of Degrassi high ward or a sort of bit more open like this kind of thing. Some sort of bolognese kind of guard, you know, or maybe even a, oh Jesus. So that was just a quick overview on unboxing video, if people even do those anymore, uh, of a left-handed German, uh, a German left-handed proto Schiavona Dussac thing. So there you go. Look forward to the next video.